In 2008, Zimbabwe's education system virtually collapsed due to an economic and political crisis. Schools closed for a year and thousands of teachers left the country in search of greener pastures. Academic performance has declined over the years, especially in science subjects. But there are signs that things may be improving. So when it's all packaged, this is what one school will get. On 20th February 2014, a new $10 million program was launched to distribute science equipment and chemicals to secondary schools. 2,450 science kits will be distributed to all 2,300 secondary schools in Zimbabwe. Each kit contains 186 different items, 46 of which are chemicals. So the science kits for secondary schools that are being launched today are a revival of the Zim Science program, which was introduced by the government of Zimbabwe in the early 80s. The kits have been funded by donors under the Education Development Fund, which is managed by UNICEF. I think if the kits are well used and well looked after, they should enable young people here to be able to realize their potential and their dreams. We expect that the science kits will contribute to a better understanding of science and improve academic performance among the students. The science kits mean a lot to students many of whom will be seeing laboratory equipment for the first time. It was 0 0.02 seconds times 10, and we get 90 over 0.2, and our final velocity was 1.2. These science kits are very important because the, the teaching and learning of science will no longer be theoretical, since we have a hands-on approach which will aid us in remembering and understanding whatever concepts are being taught, thereby improving the national password of scientists in Zimbabwe. There is still a long way to go before Zimbabwe truly revives its education system. However, programs like this are exactly what the country needs as it moves to regain its lost glory as an education giant in Africa.